Assalamu alaikum. I'm Ibrahim Hooper with CARE's video news update. This week, CARE called for a hate crime probe of a suspicious fire at a Missouri mosque. The Council on American Islamic Relations today called for state and gen federal hate crime investigations into what they are calling a suspicious fire. An official with the Islamic Society of Joplin told the council that the mock sign was burned and shot in the past and that drivers periodically shout anti Muslim slurs at worshipers. CARE's San Antonio chapter also called on the FBI to investigate hate graffiti targeting a Muslim family in that city. The San Antonio chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations called on local, state, and federal law enforcement authorities to get to the bottom of this hate crime. The family is of Pakistani heritage and has lived here since 1978 in this home for 18 years without any problems until now. And in Minnesota, CARE urged the Department of Justice to investigate anti-Muslim bias in the rejection of a proposed Islamic center. The Center for American Islamic Relations asked the Justice Department to review the decision. It's hard to say really what it is, whether it's you know, religious discrimination or national origin or even racial discrimination. In California, CARE's San Diego chapter helped a Muslim citizen stranded in Bahrain after being placed on the no-fly list. A local Muslim American stranded overseas after being placed on the no-fly list will get quite a greeting when he arrives here tomorrow at Lindbergh Field. Ali Ahmed, a U.S. citizen of Somali heritage, was stranded in Bahrain and denied a seat on flights back to the United States. Last week, the local chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations said that his placement on the no-fly list was a violation of his civil rights. Members of the civil rights group will be at the gate to welcome Ali Ahmed home. In St. Louis and Washington, D.C., CARE took part in events marking Torture Awareness Month. Well, also happening today, Scott, local leaders and community activists will come together for a demonstration just like this one. Yeah, the event aims to take a stance against torture. Now, the protest is being held by the St. Louis chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations and the National Religious Campaign Against Torture. It's to coincide with National Torture Awareness Month. Today, we stand before Congress and we say, in one voice, no to torture, yes to the Constitution, and never again. Thank you. CARE called on Apple to review its policies after several Farsi-speaking customers say they were denied service because of their language or national origin. Now, the Council on American Islamic Relations and the National Iranian American Council are now asking Apple to review its policies regarding the enforcement of these sanctions. And finally, following intervention by CARE, the Navy agreed to remove a training target that showed a Muslim woman in a headscarf pointing a gun with verses from the Quran in the background. To receive CARE updates and action alerts, sign up at CARE.com. To contact CARE, email info at CARE.com. Assalamu alaikum. Peace to you. Learn more at care.com.